three. After you have put your cooled black tea with the sugar in it into this one gallon container and you can cool it in the container and just let it sit and cool. Uh, what I usually do is put the uh, pot in a sink full of cold water and that will speed up the cooling time. But either way, when you get it cool, you put your three cups of sugared tea in here and then you add the SCOBY and the cup of tea that you already had from before, which is kind of like a starter. You add that into here. You cover it up. Covering. I usually put a rubber band around it so that it'll keep any fruit flies out, and especially in the summer. And you let it sit for about 7 to 10 days. The way that you'll know whether it's done is, and it'll go faster in the summer and a little bit slower in the winter depending on your house temperature, but usually you'll start to smell a very, very faint smell of fermentation. Uh, you can always stick a straw in there and take a little sip from around the edge, but be sure that you don't disturb the SCOBY too much. Anyway, I say that the perfect taste is, to me, kind of like very mild hard cider. Since I'm from New England, anything that tastes like apples is awesome, so that's why I think I love kombucha so much. Anyway, you let it sit for 7 to 10 days. When that time is up and it's the flavor that you want, you take it out and you put it into these beautiful bottles. Just like that. If you, I usually just scoop it into there and wait, fill it up to leave a little bit of space, uh, probably about an inch at the neck. And the reason that you do that is to preserve the bubbles and, in fact, intensify them. I always you leave my kombucha plain at this stage. If you want to add any fruit, uh, dried fruit cut up or um, essential oils, a drop or so per bottle in here, you're certainly welcome to do that. Um, but the main purpose is to have a second ferment uh, with the whatever flavoring you might want um, or just plain for another, say, two to three days at least. And that intensifies the bubbles. And then, when that's done, you can put it in the refrigerator and wait until you want to drink it. So that's pretty much all you need. You need basically a tablespoon of good organic black tea. You need a cup of organic sugar or some other wholesome organic sweetener. You need a gallon of water and a thing to make help it brew in. And um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, just comment. I'm going to let you know uh, that there are other ways, other kinds of tea, and you can certainly Google them and find them out. But this, to me, is the one that always works and the one that I would recommend for Wellness made simple. Be kind to your gut. Make yourself some kombucha. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.